video, I'm about to share with you how I made $3,000 from my passion. So right now, it's time for a little story time, all right? So one thing that's always debated in the whole make money online world is, can you actually make money from your passion, right? Now, some people say, nah, damn that. You just got to go where the money at. Who cares if it's your passion or not? Then you got other people who say, nah, whatever your passion is, you, you can make that shit work. You can, you can get rich off your passion, right? I personally believe that you can make money from whatever your passion is. Now, whether you make, you can make a million dollars off your passion, I don't know, but I definitely believe in most cases you can make some sort of money from your passion and that's exactly what I did. Now, if you don't know, it's all good because it's Make Money Online channel, but I am an artist, right? I produce music. I love it. I've been doing it for well over 20 years and I just love it. It's my passion. I got to take you back to the year of 2007, all right? So at this time, I had done several different like demo tapes, you know what I'm saying? CDs with like four or five songs on them, whatever. I've been trying to put them in different local stores, right? And, and I made a little bit of money, right? I actually uh, got CDs from the company Disc Makers back in the day. I don't know if they're still around or not. Um, now, mind you, this is way before Spotify, way before like streaming services and stuff, right? So this is when people actually got CDs you know, uh, you know, print it out and you would sell them, you know, by hand or put them in your local stores. Right. So I was doing that, had a couple little online, just small online sales. Right. Nothing major. Wasn't really making money from what I love to do. Right. Nobody was really buying my shit. So it was disheartening. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie to you. It was just like, damn, but I kept going, kept making music because that's what I do. Right. Wait, now let me back up a little bit. Um, at this time, around 2007, 2008, the big thing was like ebooks, right? Because remember, this is before Amazon, Kindle, and all that. The big thing was like ebooks. That was like the hot thing, right? People were selling ebooks all the time, making thousands of dollars from ebooks. So I remember one night, for whatever reason, I woke up. I woke up in the middle of the night and I had this idea, right? And I just, it just hit me. I'm just like, yo, you know what? I'm going to write an ebook about, you know, how to rap, right? It just, it just hit me. So I remember waking up that morning. I went back to sleep. I woke up. As soon as I woke up, got on the computer and I just, I came up with the chapter titles, right? It's the first thing I did, right? Then I literally just start just writing, right? Filling in the blanks, filling in the, uh, the chapters, it took me maybe two, three days to write this ebook, right? Then it took me about another week to actually get like a little sales page put together, uh, you know, figure out like how I'm gonna do my payments with PayPal, all that stuff. So pretty much, just to say, a week, a week and a half after I came up with this idea, my ebook was online, ready to be bought by somebody. Now keep in mind, I was so excited about just coming up with this idea. I, I wasn't even really thinking about like people buying it. I was really more just like, I just want to put this out online, right? I, I wasn't really thinking like, oh, how many people need to buy it or blah, blah, blah. So I got my book online. It's for $9.95, digital download, ebook, nice ass cover, nice little sales page. It's online, right? Now what? Right. So I remember I'm like, well, how the hell am I going to promote this? You know what I'm saying? Like I got this, I got the website, but how am I going to get traffic? Now, at this time, article marketing was very popular and YouTube was out, but YouTube wasn't as big as it is now, but it was, it was okay. Right. It was, it was there. So my strategy was I was going to write some articles talking about rapping and stuff like that. And then I was going to take um, songs, popular songs. I don't think you could do this now, but I was going to take popular songs and I was going to upload them to YouTube. And then at the end of it, I was going to put like a little promo for my book. Right. So that was my strategy. So I was just going hard as hell. I wrote probably like five, 10 articles about rapping. And then I probably put up maybe like 10 to 20 videos on YouTube. Right. 
So I did, I was doing what I was doing. After about a week, I remember checking my Yahoo email and seeing that first sale, not a commission, a straight sale, right? For my rap book. And I was so excited, right? Like, holy shit, somebody actually bought a book that I wrote, right? For something that I love doing, something that I, I feel I'm good at. Somebody actually bought my information, right? Keep in mind, it's only 10 damn dollars, but it felt like I got a million. You know what I'm saying? It, it like proved that people can make money online. You can make money from your ideas, right? So I was still high off that first sale, but like a couple more days went by, I got another sale, then another sale, then another sale, right? Ultimately, I end up selling around 300 copies of that book. And you know, that ain't 3 million, but that shit was dope, right? So I generated a little over $3,000 from this idea from my passion, from my love of music, I actually made all this money, right? And it just felt so good. And honestly, I probably still would have been out, but what happened was I ended up losing my domain, the domain name that I bought for the book. I ended up losing it and I couldn't get it back. So I actually lost my sales page. Everything just basically got lost. But years later, like Kindle came out and I like kind of rewrote it and put it up on Amazon and it's still selling, right? But it doesn't, I don't make the profit that I did, you know, when I had my own ebook, right? I was selling it for like $10. I literally was getting like $9.60 for every sale. On Amazon, I probably get like two, three dollars per sale, right? But my book's still selling, you know, to this day on Amazon. It's not the original one, right? But it's still there. But my point is, Sometimes the way you think you're going to make money from your passion might not be the way you make money from your passion, but you still can make money from your passion and maybe another way because I haven't made $3,000 from selling my own music. You know what I'm saying? One day, damn, hopefully, but I made $3,000 from selling knowledge on how to make music, how to write music. So that's still my passion. And let me tell you something. I enjoyed the hell out of making that book. I enjoyed the hell out of promoting that book. Right? Because I don't even do nothing with it now. I, I don't promote it like that. You know what I'm saying? Nope. But it just, it, like I said, it just proves like this rapping, how to rap, boom. So if your passion is fishing, right? If your passion is bowling, if your passion is dancing, singing, whatever, like you can find a way to, to monetize that, especially this day and age where you got the power of YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Like back then, none like none of this, the TikTok wasn't around when I when I created that ebook in 2007. Instagram wasn't around. Facebook was barely popping, if if it was, right? So if you have a passion, like stop bullshitting. Like there is no excuse. Right. There is no excuse. You can come up with an ebook. You can come up with a video course. You can come up with a clothing line based around your passion. Right. So you have no excuses. So far as I'm concerned, you definitely can make money from your passion because I did.